everyone, I'm Rebecca Jury, and I'm so excited for this 21 days of prayer and fasting here at Renew Church. I mentor many women, and I love to share the gospel, really with anyone who's willing to listen to me. So when I was given the verse for today, I was so excited. This is something that is always in my heart, and I always say to everyone that I speak to, read the word. You got to read the word of God. Today's topic is, if you're following us online or on our daily guide, dig into the word. Some of you watching might be thinking, I can't read the word. I don't really understand it. I find that most of the time, it's one of the biggest challenges for new believers or even seasoned ones. So let's look at today's verse, and I'm hoping that this will help us all read the word of God deeper and more personally. 1 John 2.27 says this, But the anointing which you have received from him abides in you, and you do not need that anyone teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, and is true, and it is not a lie, and just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. This is telling us that the Holy Spirit of God teaches us. The verse says that it's through the anointing that we receive through him and that it abides in us. That means that it lives in you, in me. The verse goes on to say that, therefore, we don't need anyone to teach us. So what am I trying to say? That we don't need pastors, leaders, or spiritual counsel? That's not it. Of course we do need them. We are not called to do life all alone. But what it does mean is that this is also for you to know the word of God personally. Through the anointing that is upon your life. Then you yourself can discern the truth for your own self. This is for everyone who calls on the name of the Lord. I hope that you start to read your word the word of God, and that if you don't, that you feel, and let's say you do, and you feel that you need a push to go deeper, we need to remember that it's the Holy Spirit that abides in you, in me, that helps us read the word. You can always make, make sure that you contact us at Renew Church, and we'll gladly give you what many of us here have received, but remember that this is personal for everyone. My prayer today is that you seek God through his word, that the anointing grows in your hearts more and more every day.